What's up aspiring game developers? This is Little Byte Game Studio and this is going to be part 7 in our FPS 2020 tutorial series. So today we're going to be bringing a pistol into Blender and we're going to rig it and get it ready for animation. I did actually have a plan in my head how I was going to do this. I have actually animated guns and things in Blender before and after watching um, a video, I realized that I was doing it a really hard way, basically, and there is a lot there is a lot better way to actually do it than what I was doing. So, yeah, I've been watching quite a few Blender videos lately because I've been trying to get a little bit better at using Blender because I've been using Unity for such a long time, and I really want to be able to make some of my assets in Blender myself and then bring them into Unity which is um, obviously going to save me a lot of money and enable me to actually create um, some uniqueness to my games not just using um, assets that other people have made. So yeah, I watched a lot of Blender tutorials and I did come across one recently that was showing you how to actually rig a pistol in Blender and the way the guy did it was um, really really cool in my opinion so um, shout out to this guy JNM I've been watching a few of his Blender tutorials and uh, yeah he knows what he's talking about that bloke so I recommend you go and actually uh, watch some of his stuff if you want to learn how to use Blender a little bit better um, yeah, so I'm going to be rigging the pistol the same way he does in his video, but his mesh is probably um, a little bit less complicated than the mesh that we're going to be using because he just had a low poly pistol and our pistol has a little bit more of a complicated mesh, but it's basically the same. So yeah, I thought I'd better give him a shout out rather than just... Um, show you guys what I learned. Anyway, so I actually got a pistol and I got some materials for the pistol I believe. So I will leave a link in the description and you guys can download the pistol and the materials for the pistol so that when we take it into Unity you can actually you know put some material on it and make it look really cool. So what we need to do once you've downloaded the pistol model is actually import it into Blender. So just open up from the last um, save you had for Blender. You, you don't even need to open up, you know, one that had the animations. I'm actually just going to delete these animations anyway, but uh, make sure you did save a copy of your unarmed animations in case you need to go back and, you know, touch up some animations or um, change it how you want it. So yeah, make sure you have a save and then go ahead and actually import. So file import and this one is actually a uh, .obj file, okay? So you need to select wavefront.obj and then find where you um, stored the file and just double click on it. I'm just going to go back to uh, you see up here on the top we're actually on the animation tab if you go back to layout that's our original layout um, because I left my cursor down there the pistol actually spawned down there which is fine um, you'll see in the well I'm gonna call this the hierarchy so if you don't like that well too bad I just call it the hierarchy because it just basically is the hierarchy to me so we can actually see that we have the pistol but it's in a lot of separate parts and as you can see the guy who made this I love how he did his naming convention it's actually got Glock back thingy low that's beautiful so yeah we've got all of these separate pieces here so what we need to do is actually make this into one mesh so if we select the Glock uh, Glock back thingy low and then hold down shift and select the Glock trigger low and then move our cursor back into the 3D space and go control J. 
what that does is actually join all of these meshes together and make it one whole mesh. So I'm just going to double click on this and rename it to Glock Pistol. I'll just call this Glock. So that's fine. So we just got our one mesh now. You can actually left click on that and it will select the whole um, pistol mesh. I'll just put it into object mode. So the pistol is actually down there at the moment. So with it selected, you can just press S to scale and then just drag up a little bit and you'll make it a bit bigger. And then you can just um, move it up on the Z axis like so to about where the player is. I'm just going to press three on my numpad to go into um, the orthographic view and I'm actually going to move this pistol over here a little bit. I'm just going to put it above the hand so we can actually see it. Um, it is actually facing our face at the moment, which isn't ideal. So we need to go to the Z axis here. If you haven't got that open, um, let me get out of this for a second. If, if yours is just like that, just press N, OK, to open up this transform box, just like Unity's. And our rotation is here. And obviously, in Blender, as we've um, discussed before, the Z axis is actually the up and down, and the Y is the forward and back. So it's opposite to Unity. And uh, 180 rotation should put us back facing the right way. All right. So we have our pistol, and as you can see, if I click off the pistol now, and then I click back on it, I select the whole pistol mesh, just like that. So what we want to do is actually make some bones for this pistol, because you'll see, even though it's the same mesh, if you go uh, press tab and go into edit mode, if I just left click so I'm not selected on anything, and then I actually go to say the bottom of the uh, magazine here, if I press L, it'll select it there. And if I rotate around here, you can see that that's the rest of the magazine there. If I press L on that, we now have the um, whole magazine selected. So if I press G and then Z to just go up and down, you can see that I can just pull the whole pistol uh, magazine just out like that, okay? Really, really cool. So yeah, I didn't know you could do this, which is, Awesome. I love learning new things, especially when it makes things easier. Okay, so what we need to do, I'll just press uh, 3 again to go back into this orthographic side view. And if we actually press Shift and then A, and then go to Armature and Single Bone, I didn't move my cursor again, so the bone's actually down there. So just drag the bone up, drag it across, just zoom in now, and uh, here's our bone, just like that. And if we just double click on that, we can call this um, Glock underscore root, and if I select the bone and then select um, the bone properties, I'll actually change the name here. Glock root. Okay, so we have our bone here. And basically, you could just leave it like that if you want. It doesn't matter, I don't think. You can just, um, in edit mode, you can actually select the um, tips like we've done when we were actually animating our character. Or you can select the actual, um, you know, the main part of the bone here to actually get the whole bone. So if you just select the tip and press G in orthographic mode, you can just scale it up and down without worrying about it um, going any crazy ways. So, yeah, I'm just actually going to leave mine like this and kind of have it um, the same angle as the actual um, pistol grip there. So for me, that's going to be fine. And now what we'll do, we're still in edit mode, make sure we select the whole bone and then press shift and then A. And did I just press the wrong button? Sorry. Um, shift and D, sorry. What am I talking about? 
it's shift D and not control D like unity but first of all um, I'll just put this here for a second let's actually go to object mode select the bone and go to this one object data properties and then we will select in front okay so just so our bones um, are in front of the mesh and we can actually see what we're doing a bit better so I'm just going to select um, just going to go back to edit mode make sure in object mode you you select the bones if when you're in object mode if you if you click on the bone you're actually select, selecting the armature and if you click on the mesh of the gun it'll um, actually when you go back into edit mode it'll actually um, just before the actual gun okay and you won't be able to select your bones so if that happens to you just press um, tab go back into object mode and select the actual bones okay so yeah click back on the bones and then go into edit mode and select this bone here and we can actually go down to the little um, bone tab here and we can rename this one to magazine bone and you can uh, resize this one if you want as well just going to have mine like that that'll be fine and then select the main part of the bone go shift D to duplicate just going to bring this one up the top just put that like that and select the bottom here go to G and that one is going to be for our slide so we'll change that one to slide bone and then if we shift D duplicate that put it down here and then press G and we can actually use this one for the trigger so make sure you select it and change the name to trigger bone okay so now we have a bone for our whole gun to rotate and move the whole gun is one we have the one for the slide we have one for the trigger and one for the magazine so what we need to do now is actually um, make these children of the main root bone so that that is the parent and that can control all the bones if we select this one so what you need to do if we select the magazine bone and then hold down shift and select the root bone go control P and do keep offset select the trigger left click on the bone control P keep offset do the same for the slide control P keep offset okay so now they're all children of this bone so now if we go into pose mode like this and select the bone and press G you'll see that the actual bones are all children of this bone here just like that what the hell is that one there I think I might I've made an extra one there we'll see that's all right we'll sort it out so yeah we've got our root bone that is actually controlling all of the bones now and now we actually need to make sure that all of these bones just control that individual um, mesh that we want it to okay so if we go um, go into object mode and we select the actual mesh of the gun and then hold down shift and select the root bone and then go control P and then we select with empty group so we're setting the parent with empty groups and then if we select the gun mesh and go to the object data properties you will see that we actually have um, these vertex groups here for each of them and there is a spare bone there but I'm just not going to use that so it shouldn't it shouldn't matter okay so 
now we need to assign the vertexes to each of these bones. So what we can do if we select the actual Glock root, we need to make sure that we have the whole pistol for the Glock root, but not the parts like the slide, the trigger or the magazine. So if we go back into edit mode and press A to select all, and then what we need to do is deselect the pieces that we don't want to move, okay? So let's go hold down shift and then press L with our little cursor on the slide and deselect that. We probably want to deselect the sights as well. This piece here, let me see. Yeah, I don't think we want that to move with the actual slide, do we? I can't really tell. I don't... Yeah, I don't think we want that piece to move the slide. So let's just leave that for now. Um, the trigger, so hover over the trigger, hold down shift and press L. And then we've also got this other piece of the trigger. So hold down shift and press L on that. And then of course the magazine. So if we get under here and then hover over the bottom piece of it, shift L, and then over this piece, shift L. So now we haven't selected the um, parts that we don't want to be assigned to the Glock root. So just go assign when you've done that. And now if we just left click anywhere to deselect everything, we want to select the magazine bone and then we'll go and actually select these ones. So hover over, press L, and then make sure we get the other piece of the magazine, this bit here. And then if we go assign, select the slide bone, deselect everything. So this one we want to select the slide, so L, and then on the sides, L. I think that's all we need, go assign, the trigger, we do the same, deselect everything, then we select that piece there with L, and then that piece there with L, and assign. And we're not going to assign anything to this bone that I uh, made a mistake and created, which is fine. So let's see if this actually works now. I think I did it right. So yeah, if we go to pose mode, we should be able to Hang on, get out of that. Let me select the actual um, armature and then we'll be able to go to pose mode. So we've got, I'll just go into orthographic. If we've got the root bone selected, I press G. We can now move the uh, whole pistol around. Press R, we can rotate it. Um, let's check out the slide. If we select the slide and then we press G on the Y position only, we can actually move the slide backwards and forwards. It's good, it's fine. The trigger, if we go rotate, we can actually pull the trigger. And the magazine, if we go G and then select Z, we can actually take the magazine out and put it back. All right, awesome, I did it right. So yeah, thanks heaps to JNM for um, teaching me how to do that. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, that'll do for this video. In the next one, we will start animating. Going to try to keep the videos a little bit shorter. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all soon. Cheers.